Two lovers cling to each other, bodies intertwined against the backdrop of the Paris skyline. Another couple shares an intimate walk along a deserted beach. These scenes of love and lust are the hallmarks of the romance novel cover. And today we are going to meet one of the artists behind those covers, Albert Slark, a man who is really good at what he does. Well, I got involved in illustrating romance around 1994. At that time, uh, I absolutely love, you know, painting figures. So I was able to paint figures and make, you know, a living doing it. So, and romance really was the ideal, you know, field to get into. So my job really is to bring life to these fictional characters. Uh, I usually get a synopsis, um, a three or four page brief of uh, what, the, what the characters are and uh, what they'll be wearing and what kind of environment that they're going to be in. And then my job is to take all this information and basically have a cover from that. I've really got to make them ideal, these sort of ideal people. And by that, I've got to maybe um, make them in proportion. So sometimes, like, a model's head might be too big, or their nose might be too big, or their hands might be humongous. And I've got to adjust that uh, to have the sort of ideal kind of, um, you know, look that, that the hero and heroine should have. His style is very realistic. Um, at the beginning, he was doing all of his work on canvas. It's it's uh, it's a big uh, thing to do because it's it, it's almost uh, um, based on uh, painting like the old masters, and so you do have to have a lot of practice. Most schools don't give you that kind of practice. It's very realistic and quite hard to do, and I think Albert really progressed quite a lot. I, I see myself more as a painter, you know, as opposed to the commercial illustrator. The classical influence really sort of surfaces in my work. He is actually very adaptable from actually painting in oils, and uh, he went to working on the computer. A lot of the illustrators now use the computer uh, very, very creatively. When you scan a book stand, you usually have about two or three seconds to hold anybody's attention. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's romance, whatever it is, you have to immediately give a clue what the book is about. A good illustrator will be able to capture something from the story, and you don't want to editorialize it too much, but will give you immediately that clue that this is that kind of book it is. You have to convey that in a couple of seconds. Then you can actually see how detailed and how much depth those illustrations have. My job is to take a photo and um, really enhance that, uh, make it into a painting, so to speak. So, uh, you know, my work isn't just cut out photos and pasted on a background. My work is about, you know, painting these people in, in Painter or Photoshop and uh, making them sort of fit into this environment where they're totally natural and at home, that they belong there. Uh, from here, I had to cover up the models. As you can see, um, they're in a bathing suit and they're supposed to be under sheets, so I prefer to have my own sheets on there. So uh, what I did was I added that from various different sources, and then from there I added that, and then I put a little shadow in there. I painted that in and to make it a little more realistic. Uh, I added some more you know, sheets there, and then I added the arm, made that a bit darker. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit more distinct, that's the word I was looking for. Then I added the, the shadow to make it a bit more realistic as in the photo here. So, draped on the sheet there. And there you have it. Albert is a romantic at heart, and I think he was able to interpret these things in a romantic way. It is important. If you're not, there's just no way it will come across. And, you know, you have to actually portray feelings and emotions. And a lot of the illustrations have that, and uh, he was able to do that. For me, I, I guess I am a romantic at heart, uh, you know. Sure, uh, to be able to really feel these characters and, and to make it uh, seem real, I think, I think, yeah. I think if you weren't, I think that would, that would reflect. And I think my work does reflect that because I do get you know, calls from many authors who want to buy my work. So um, I, I guess I've, I've hit something there. Up next. 
A new novel from emerging Canadian writer, Shani Mutu.